Welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelly. We'll have so much fun with science, games, crafts, and more. Each week, there will be a special project or activity. So get ready to be curious. This week, we are very curious about volcanoes. Let's learn some facts about these natural wonders. We will also find out a few ways volcanoes can affect the weather. A volcano is an opening into the earth. If we could look inside a volcano, way deep inside, we could see the extremely hot molten rock called magma. The rock is so hot, it has melted into a liquid state. The smoke-like ash cloud occurs when there is a violent explosion within the volcano. If the magma also explodes out, this is a volcanic eruption. Once the magma leaves the volcano, it is called lava. Here is an actual video of an ash cloud. Ash can remain in the air for days and travel hundreds of miles. Look at the magma inside the volcano's crater. Remember, once it starts flowing outside the volcano, it becomes lava. Lava can flow for long distances. Sometimes the lava falls into the ocean where it turns back to rock. Let's talk more about the ash cloud. What is it made of? There is water in the cloud and various gases, but the ash that makes up the cloud is made up of small pieces of rocks, minerals, and even glass. One way the ash cloud can affect the weather is because of these small particles. They are very good at attracting water droplets. When the water droplets become heavy, they fall to the ground as rain. Another thing that can happen to the particles inside the ash cloud is that they can move around a lot. This effect can sometimes cause lightning. Look at this picture of a lightning bolt coming out of the ash cloud. For hundreds of millions of years, volcanoes have been forming most of the Earth's surfaces. Let's play a volcano rhyming word game. Put on your thinking caps. Look at the word volcano. We will rhyme the last sound, which is O. So think of words ending in the O sound. Here is the first one. Sheep is eating his vegetable lunch. He is eating peas and this vegetable that rhymes with volcano. It grows underground. What is it? Potato! Sheep loves potatoes. Now, if you had said tomato, you're right that it rhymes, but tomatoes don't grow underground and they are actually fruit. Here is another one. Sheep is enjoying a lovely sunny day, but suddenly clouds roll in and it starts to rain. After the rain stops, something appears in the sky that rhymes with volcano. What is it? Rainbow! How pretty. Sheep doesn't even mind that he got wet. Here is the last one. It is the hardest. Sheep is dancing because his friend is playing on her new musical instrument. What could Chick be playing on? How about piano? Our 
maybe cello. Or even banjo. You decide because they all rhyme. Well, we learned about volcanoes, discovered how eruptions can change the weather, and played a game. You can keep playing by coming up with more rhymes. And remember, keep being curious.